Hey Slingers, day five here at Oshkosh. It's been phenomenally busy here at the education booth. It's nice and cool in here as well. So if you want to break from the from the hot weather, come visit. In today's video, we visit the NASA Pavilion. Had a really good time there. Spoke with some really cool people. And also we cover the night air show. It was a fantastic air show. We're on the other side of the airfield. We had an absolute blast. Enjoy the video. So we're here at NASA, they do so much important work in our industry. Let's go in and check out some of the cool stuff they've got going on. The X-59 has actually been built now. They're based out in Palmdale, near Ed Edwards Air Force Base where the uh, Skunk Works is. They're doing ground testing. They're actually hoping to fly the X-59 before the end of this year. They're trying to reduce the noise of sonic boom so that we can get more sonic travel going on. They do all of this at their expense and then they share all of their findings and results with private industry so that private industry can take advantage of all that good work that they do. So you can see on this slide here, uh, most of these big heavy shock waves are actually going upwards. So the idea is to direct the, the impact of the sonic boom upwards instead of downwards so it's not impacting the general population. Probably recognize this aircraft as the Technum P2006T we use for our multi-training. In this case, NASA actually fitted a, a much smaller wing to make the aircraft a lot more efficient during flight. The challenge with fitting a smaller wing is that uh, increases the stall speed substantially. So it was set up so that the two outboard motors here were once you get up to cruise speed. There's some electric motors along the wing, some smaller ones with folding blades that actually blow more air over the wing. So uh, the idea is as if it's flying at 100 knots or lower, these are, these are gonna kick in, the, sm the smaller motors along the wing are gonna kick in force more air over the wing to reduce that stall speed. The idea is to make it more efficient overall but uh, make improvements uh, to the stall speed during takeoff and landing. Okay, so I'm standing here in front of this 900 horsepower electric motor. Now, this has been fitted in some real aircraft, including a Beaver that's made some commercial operations. They're also working on another aircraft that's gonna have two of these and two uh, traditional fuel engines and be a hybrid aircraft. The importance here is NASA's working on getting net zero emissions by 2050. All right, Keenan, uh, is this your first time at Oshkosh? Yeah. How are you enjoying it so far? I really like it. You told me you're interested in getting t into the Air Force? I'm not interested, I'm gonna be in the Air Force. Ah, what kind of plane do you wanna fly? Uh, F-22, F-16s, anything. If it flies, I'll fly it. What's your favorite part about Oshkosh so far? The airplanes. Thank you so much for your time. Hey guys, this was my first ever Oshkosh and my first ever night show, and all I can say, it was absolutely breathtaking. I cannot wait for another one and I cannot wait for my future Oshkosh. The sunset flight with the Texans was also my favorite part. It was absolutely beautiful. And all the noises and all the different aircraft doing the displays was just phenomenal. The night show was amazing. It was my very first time, first of all, at Oshkosh. And uh, I've never experienced anything like that. First of all, it was on a runway. Who sees the fireworks on the runway? Before even the fireworks to begin with, the aircraft so just rolling above us and just like literally being so close, you think that they're literally gonna hit you. Is the best part about it with the lights coming out, like it was so synchronized and everything is amazing. I really got excited, especially when there was like it was like a bomb. We thought it was real at first, but no, it was a part of the air show. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, we had a lot of people around, and there's everyone, you know, yelling and screaming, uh, excitement, and everyone's like, you know, uh, connecting. It was beautiful, honestly. I do recommend you guys coming and seeing. There were uh, four aircraft doing uh, those loopholes too, one one after another, and it's like they know how to measure it, which is so crazy because it's like literally up in the air. How do you measure that? Honestly, that's that's crazy. That's the part that I enjoyed the most. Crazy colors, everything is colorful. It feels like it was Disneyland on a runway. <laughs> uh, yeah, the night show was awesome. Definitely a highlight for me on this uh, EAA adventure, Oshkosh. And uh, I think my favorite part 
of the night show was definitely the um, the fighter jets. I just think that's. I mean, if I could fly one airplane, that that would be what it would be. That's that's what it would be. So it looks like so much fun. Just all the crazy maneuvers they do and how fast they're going. Uh, I'm jealous of those guys. Yep, that was my first uh, air show in general. Period. It's definitely my favorite part. So I could see that hundred times over and not get bored. The night air show was super fun, and my favorite part was definitely when I got to lay down on the grass because it was such a long day for me and I was so tired. It was so relaxing. It was my second night air show at Oshkosh. I've been here before. This is my second time at Oshkosh. Every year, one of my favorite things to do is go to the night air show. This year, we were lucky enough to go over to Wayne Daniels' hangar on the other side of the airport called 7th Heaven. Believe it or not, it's actually kind of the birthplace of the TSI. After it got built in South Africa, we had to reassemble it here in Wisconsin so that we could get it ready for the first Oshkosh it was at back in 2018. This year's air show was really great, as always. My favorite part of the air show this year was probably the glider. In the past, it hasn't been. I usually like all the big loud stuff, but this time I liked it. It was kind of like the calm before the storm, uh, before all the big fireworks and the explosions went off. It gave you a little bit of time to kind of compose yourself after watching all the other crazy stuff. Overall, it was a great time and I hope to do it again next year. I really enjoy the night air show. Love having the perspective from the other side of the airfield. So the big part about going over to 7th Heaven, Wayne's Hangar, and being at his place is we can be right under the aircraft as they're flying overhead. That's a perspective that you just really don't normally get to see. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, the fireworks were phenomenal. I mean, just huge fireworks display and the explosion at the end. I mean, boy, you can feel it, you can see it, you can feel the heat. It's quite something, the, the explosion. I mean, the, looking at it on the video just doesn't do it justice. It's, it, it's very, very impressive. The best part was definitely the aircraft doing its own firework display and other fireworks going on at the same time. I also like the part where they had a lot of fireworks. I love fireworks. I love explosions, so it was super fun. My favorite part, honestly, were the fireworks and also the Boom, explosion. I don't know if you got that in camera. If you do, then hopefully uh, that will be posted. That was my favorite part because it got me like shocked. If you were there, leave us a comment about your favorite part of the night air show. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already. We've still got another couple of days. We're going to be pushing out a lot more content. See you next time.